can probably just make out the, uh, the sea uh, in the distance and also in this bottom part of the garden not far from the sensory garden is what they call the, the Pustinia which is a place where people can come and sit quietly and read uh, and pray and just meditate just have a look, look inside there and uh, above the door it says um, enter in silence and leave in peace uh, and this this uh, corner of the walled garden um, and the idea was that it was going to be a, a, a sensory garden but uh, again a little bit of neglect uh, but nevertheless it's a, it's a lovely place to be and I think some of these uh, flowers here are absolutely uh, uh, beautiful to look at. So there we are, that's the, the sensory garden. And a little seat there uh, to sit and uh, there's a coracle there. I'm not really quite sure what that's there for, but it's a very Celtic thing. I think it was uh, not cultivated for weeks and weeks during lockdown. It is uh, all sorts of things growing here. I, th I thought these were courgettes. But there's something else, they were self-seeded, they were just growing and that's it there. It might be a courgette, but here really, I guess, are the tomatoes. Every single one of these uh, were self-seeded, they, they just came up in the soil in here while uh, nobody was around during, during lockdown and uh, you see that the tomatoes are doing really well. Um, uh, this looks quite uh this is a vegetable uh, plot again a bit neglected because there's been nobody around really to look after it there's a rhubarb not much of which was picked uh, strawberry bread which is now pretty much exhausted uh, this bed here at the end are some leeks uh, uh, the far end are some courgettes uh, and beyond that are some onions as you can see the rest of it's uh, been pretty much neglected apart from some some raspberry canes at the end there. And you're just looking there now at the um, labyrinth, which uh, I've got to stream this afternoon. We should do that in a minute. And of course, in the distance, uh, you can see, I'm actually sure what they, what they are. Alpacas or llamas, there's a couple of them there that the local farmer needed to separate from the others in the herd that he had for whatever reason. And another view of the garden and uh, rather a good crop of apples. Let's hope that by the time they're ready to eat, people will be staying here again. Uh, this is uh, the chapel uh, in, the, in the garden, uh, in the woods, and again, it was quite a nicely tendered border in front of, of it, but uh, nature has uh, had its own particular and not unpicturesque way uh, of dealing. As you approach the chapel, you see this on the door. Those who lean on Jesus' breast, hear the heartbeat of God. Well, fortunately the sun's come out, so the chapel is a little bit brighter and uh, you're able to, to see 
what it's like, Victor knows because uh, because he's been here. He usually uses this for communion services on a Sunday and on a Wednesday evening when everything is working normally. You would have been uh, physically staying. Um, that room in the centre of the screen is the living room where most of the services are held and much social things in the garden is rather nice even though again that has been rather neglected you just have a, a look round to the view from the house looking through the gap in the trees towards the sea